Good morning, Year 3. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you all about ancient Chinese porcelain. Okay, so we have been learning about the art of the different arts of different cultures. We looked at Islamic art in our um, first lesson in school. Then we looked at Australian Aboriginal art. And today we're going to be looking at ancient Chinese porcelain. So the Chinese people developed a method for creating porcelain plates and bowls and vases. Now porcelain is the material that normally the plates that you use to eat your dinner off in your homes are, are made from. It's kind of like a white clay that's glazed over the top. And the, Chi the ancient Chinese people developed a method for creating these and decorating them. And they always use lovely blue inks and really in intricate patterns. Often they would have an animal on it as well. So we're going to create something inspired by this. So our learning question is, can I create artwork inspired by ancient Chinese porcelain? Our success criteria points are I can use blue tones. OK, so you're going to need to dig out your blue crayons, markers, pencils, paints if you've got them too. I can include patterns. OK, we're going to look at the kind of patterns that were used. And our last success criteria point is I can discuss a feature of ancient Chinese porcelain or pottery. Pottery, porcelain, ceramics, China as well, if you can guess where the name came from. All of these terms refer to porcelain or pottery, the kind of thing that, the kind of clay that vases or bowls or plates are made out of. So the, some of the features could be the blue tones in the patterns, it could be the patterns themselves, it could be some of the animals that they use, these could be all be some of the features you could refer to. Okay, I hope you enjoy our art lesson. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to be explaining to you how to create a drawing of ancient Chinese porcelain. So you will need different shades of blue, whatever you have at home. OK, I've got markers and pencils. You may have other things. You can use black or you can use a blue to outline your vase. Now, if you want, you can use you can create a plate and, and decorate your plate. You could even use a paper plate if you've got it in your home. I'm going to create a vase. Now, you can look online to find different shapes. I might, must say as well, boys and girls, some people say vase. I say vase. So it's just People from different places pronounce it differently. Okay, here's my vase. Okay, now some vases can have handles on them, and um, they can be different shapes, they can be fatter, thinner, you can choose. Okay, now normally the ancient Chinese people would start off their pattern, start off their pattern by having an animal. Now these animals often include birds perhaps deer, um, perhaps fish, perhaps a dragon, okay? Um, I am going to do a koi carp. Okay, so this is the body of my fish. This is the tail. The fins, and it's a bird's eye view. We're looking down on it, so I'll do two eyes like this. And these kind of fish kind of have whiskers strange i know but they do you can do a bit of googling for ideas i'm going to share with you some ideas after this for patterns and animals now you can see that the patterns are so intricate and detailed i'm going to do a few lines like this to divide up the vase um, and i think now i'll start onto my blue tones so use your darkest one first to do the outline of the patterns um, now, often a good idea is to find a line on the vase and decorate it with pattern. OK, so you could add a few lines along here. Oops. Now, look, I'm drawing with marker. You may make some mistakes because I'm drawing with marker. I'm just going to work with it. You could draw it with pencil first. I think just be confident and go for it. Oh, 
Now, once you've got all of your patterns, uh, you can begin to use the other blue tones to shade them. You see how I've done that here? So you could use, you could go over some of these lines with um, a light blue, perhaps. Oh, I just realized I forgot to decorate the fish. What will I add on to this one? I think I'm going to do scales. Okay, so we're shading in some of the blue. So we've not only got dark blue, we've got different tones. Tones are lighter or darker versions of the same colour. So we've got lighter and darker versions of the blue because that is how the ink would look in a real example of the ancient Chinese porcelain. Okay, boys and girls, here's my finished design. I will we'll share with you after this some ideas of some of the patterns you could use and some of the animals you could use. I can't wait to see your finished designs. Remember, you can change the shape of your porcelain. It could be a vase, it could be a plate. You can create some interesting shapes. Good luck, everyone.